Holy moly, it's holy moly. Welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna play holy moly on the uh, Atari 2600. Let us begin. Okay, so let us jump right into this. Let's see, power, what do I press? Y? Power? Oh, okay. There we go. Game reset. Player one. Okay, we gotta use this thing here, this keypad, to hit the number of uh, whatever. Oh, oh. Okay. I got that one. So this is basically just whack a mole. Except you use a keep, a number pad, to press which button. Oh. Okay, we got him. Got her. Okay, I think I could, uh, oh. Okay, let's see. I think I can do this without looking at the screen. I'm gonna the keypad. It's probably a little bit different than pressing the keypad directly, but I don't think the buttons on the, on the controller were that good to begin with. Whoop. I don't know. Let's see how long is this game or how many do I miss before it's game over? So, as you can see, it's a very, very simple game, but I think, well, most our Atari 2600 games were very simple. Because they were basic, they were what? They were below 8-bit. What, what, what was Atari? 4-bit? 2-bit? I have no idea. I, oh, look at that. Okay, so I think we missed enough times that we got a game over. Oh, this is 2. I wonder if this is round 2. It has a very repetitive song, but at least it has a song. A lot of uh, Atari 2600 games didn't really have music to be... Well, didn't really have music. I think there were like quite a handful of Atari 2600 games I played that didn't have any sort of music to begin with. Maybe it had a, like a, a little um, musical chime when you started, but other than that, it was all gameplay and... Uh, Using your imagination. I wonder what it would. I wonder how. I don't remember how um, playing this game over an RF coaxial signal would have been like. I I think that's what they call it. But I remember playing games using an RF adapter, like using when I was playing the NES. Because I'm pretty sure, like I was. Oh, sorry, no boys. So I was gonna say that uh, there was. Um, there was uh, like a lot of games back in the early 90s and even the 80s. Uh, they, they didn't really use composite back then. They used RF adapters that you just kind of you just kind of screwed into the back of the TV. And um, yeah, it was a very, very arch archaic way of uh, getting signal to the TV. And uh, the, the, what do you call it? The signal quality wasn't all that great. I remember the picture being fuzzy quite a bit. Uh, it's been so long ago. Like, to me, it prob probably didn't look bad back then. But if I were to look at an RF signal now, it pro I don't know. Honestly, I can't remember. I gotta, I gotta try. I should try hunt down a... Um, I should tr try hunt down an old NES console and hook it up RF style. Anyway, let us begin another game here. Let's see, what am I, uh, let's see, right difficulty, left difficulty, oh, A, B, okay, game select, medium, hard, hardest, easy. I guess we were playing on easy. Let's try that again. Okay. Come out, come out wherever you are. There is a red one. Oh. The only games that were in black and white that I can recall was Pong. I'm pretty sure I'm sure that there were other obscure um, systems and computer games that played. And oh yeah, that's right. Uh, some old early computer games were old, like had color, but they were in like cyan green and magenta purple, or if magenta is a purple. What is it, an Apple II or something? I wasn't much of a computer guy when it came to retro consoles. I think the most retro retro console I've owned was the original 8-bit NES. Yep, Super Mario Brothers was my game. Was the game that I cut my teeth on. 
I couldn't imagine paying a full, full price for this game back in what 1981 or 1979, whenever, whatever year this game came out. Probably was very early 80s, I'm guessing. Okay, the uh, controller is a little finicky here. I am playing with the uh, Joy-Cons. I don't have them connected to a controller, I just have them independently in each out hand. The one thing I don't like about the Joy-Cons is that uh, the analog sticks feel a little... Uh, not small, but they feel a little oddly placed. I guess it's because my hands are larger than little kid hands go oh. oh, son of a okay I think we still made it oh. Oh, 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 oh okay I think this is a some sort of bonus here I'm just trying to hit them all there we go oh look at that this is the first time I've seen the bone uh, the bonus round here oh. okay they're gonna come in more Fast and furiously. Where are you? Come out. Okay, there we go. Like, I wonder who, I wonder what, uh, how the game Whack-A-Mole came to be. Because this game was played in carnivals before it was, before any video games were out. I remember, like, uh, it was a uh, very much a novel thing when, uh, board games were created i think like be i think board oh okay as i was saying i think board games were kind of like the video games before video was a th even a thing i can imagine like uh like people going to like bars and playing cards and everything like who knows how long cards were around for when were cards created these are questions that i should have that I should look up later. I remember Nintendo is much older than uh, their first video game system. Because, like, Nintendo was, like, around for at least well over 100 years. Maybe 200, I'm not too sure. But they, uh... They were, uh, they were, they were a gaming company to begin with. They produced, um, card games. I don't know which card. It, it might have been Ma Ma Mahjong? Anyway, so, yeah, so Nintendo's roots go way back, like, way before, even before the, uh, well, like, I think it was early 19th century or late 18th century they were in existence, but anyway, uh, yeah, so that was today's game, I hope you enjoyed today's game as much as I enjoyed, I, I hope you enjoyed today's game, I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed making it and we'll catch you next time with a different game so this video is going to be a little bit shorter just because well there's not much to do here you know i am making uh gonna make these videos a little bit shorter for the time being right now i'm waiting for my uh my 16 gig ram to come in uh from amazon but they still haven't shipped it i've ordered it about a week and a half ago already and uh yeah they're, they they must be really, really racked up. But anyway, yeah. So I'm just going to leave it at that. All right. So we will catch you tomorrow with a different game. All right, until then, have a good one. We'll see you.